in case of an emergency type situation, it doesn't have to be an SHTF situation, a grid down situation. More than likely, some more than most things that people are going to face is loss of job, somebody's sick that's in the hospital and they're not working, could be the breadwinner of the family. These are very different type of emergency situations that we have to be aware of that we have to plan for. These are things that are probably more than likely going to happen than an SHTF situation, a grid down situation, um, you know, one of these type of disasters. You know, these are the things that we can plan for. We can plan for hurricanes. We can plan for blizzards. We can plan for ice storms. We can plan for floods. We can plan for, you know, all these different types of scenarios that are out there. But more than likely, somebody getting sick and ending up in the hospital, somebody getting a car accident, is probably the two biggest things and reasons why it is very important to be a prepper. Let's face it. A lot of people think, you know, the end of the world's coming and everything else. Could be. Don't know. If it's the end of the world, it doesn't matter if you're prepped or ready or not. You lose your job tomorrow. Are you ready for that? Do you get in a car accident going to work? You end up in the hospital, your car is totaled. Yeah, you can call a lawyer. You can get everybody involved and you can do all these type of things. It takes time. It takes a lot of time. That's why it's so important to realize that when you're planning for a lot of these different situations, you're planning for yourself you're planning for your family. You're planning for your future. You're trying to predict and control what will happen if one of these different scenarios do play out and how your family can react and then bounce back from whatever type of scenario took place. You see, we all have to realize one simple thing. We don't rely on the government. We rely on ourselves to provide for our families. A lot of you people out there, you go to work, you bust your ass every day, you collect your paycheck, and you do what you have to do. You may be going without. That's the nature of the beast. Yeah, it'd be nice to buy a brand new shirt or something like that. But if your kids need a new shirt or a pair of shoes or something like that, a decent parent would sit there and make sure that their kids had those new shoes or that new shirt before the parent did. Doesn't work in all situations. That's why I said a good, decent parent would make sure that their kids have whatever they need before they have whatever they wanted. That's how it was when I was growing up. If I needed a pair of shoes or something like that, my parents always made sure I had a pair of shoes if I needed them. Tennis shoes, dress shoes, whatever. It's the little things that go a long way, isn't it? Because it's all on how we teach our kids nowadays. Our kids are our future. Our kids are what's going to be the ones that are running this country someday. One of our kids out here could be the next senator, next congress, could be the next president. We don't know. But it's all on how you teach and raise them now when they're young is grooming them for the future. I'm very proud of my kids. My kids turned out to me, excellent. Now they had their ups and downs. Trust me, they're not perfect <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. But as they grew older, they got wiser. The whole point of this is teach our kids now 
because they're the ones that are going to be our future. And if we groom them right now, the future will be a lot better for a lot more people. Because right now, the affordable living has come and gone. Hard times are coming. And we have to ride this out together. But the whole point of this is we have to make sure that we're doing whatever we can to stay ahead of the eight ball because things are only going to get harder and cost you more in the long run at this point in time in the game. I'm trying to be the bearer of bad news, but also trying to help you realize and understand why the bad news is here and what we can do and how we can try to avoid this. Because that's my main goal, is to watch out for you.